Only on two, Chicago is struggling with an influx of migrants arriving daily, and part of the issue is the complex and very time-consuming process of applying for status. CBS2 investigator Megan Hickey takes us inside DePaul's Asylum and Immigration Law Clinic, where students are working to clear out the backlog. So it's like clockwork. Every day you're getting more requests. Yes. Professor Siobhan Albiol and the student attorneys about whether or not you're also seeking here at DePaul's Asylum and Immigration Law Clinic can tell us firsthand that the end of the bus ride is only the beginning of the journey for asylum seekers here in Chicago. Are things to consider. Many don't even understand the definition of asylum, which is escaping a very specific type of persecution. If that persecution was motivated by race, religion, nationality, political opinion, or membership in a particular social group. These student attorneys and soon to be graduates in the clinic understand the need firsthand. My parents immigrated in the 90s from Poland, um, and my dad actually had filed for asylum, but wasn't granted. I was an asylum seeker myself back in 2011. I was part of the revolution in Syria. Which is why they're eager to help asylum seekers through the mountains of paperwork that are currently clogging up the system of approval. And the application end up sometimes over 200 pages because you still have to provide an affidavit of your story. Why are you seeking asylum? The demand is higher than the services that are available. So with more and more refugees arriving every day. After we finish this interview, I'm sure there will be something in my inbox asking me for assistance. How can we speed things up? Albiel says the requirement to file for asylum within a year of arrival needs to be loosened. I think if some of those pressures could be alleviated, that may be able to facilitate people um, in accessing legal services. And more asylum seekers need access to legal representation. If you have legal representation in immigration proceeding, you're more likely to get your case granted at four times. The type of representation that these student attorneys are providing one case at a time. The clients that I worked with changed my life. And that's why I'm so excited to work in this field is because I, I want to hear more stories and I want to help more people. The Asylum and Immigration Law Clinic has provided services for over 10,000 cases in the last 25 years, including the cases of more than 100 asylum seekers. In the loop, Megan Hickey, CBS2 Investigators.